I'm your mayor for 2018, and I welcome all of you. We have a full house here. So I hope uh, uh, with the folks that uh, it is standing room only, so uh, know that uh, uh, we in El Cerrito welcome all of you. And uh, it's, it's an honor to introduce uh, the congressman, but also my classmate, uh, who's a few years older than me, but I want to know that uh, I would like to introduce you to my classmate, to uh, John Joya. <laughs> Go Gauchos. And, uh, John is my partner when it comes to everything uh, regarding West Contra Costa, especially with environmental concerns and uh, concerns within the county. So John, I welcome you here to El Cerrito, your hometown and it's uh, great for you to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. Go El Cerrito Ohio. Any El Cerrito Ohio folks here today? Um, so I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna say our congressman already knows, and that is, congressman, welcome to the best part of your district. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, he, he already knows this because we served together for 10 years on the Board of Supervisors, and. Uh, Mark DeSonye understands our community, understood our community before he ever got elected to Congress. And I, I'm really proud that the person that we have replace uh, the great George Miller um, is Mark DeSonye. He's been a great member of Congress. And, um, and I want to say, you know, as Gabe said, uh, we're all team players here. Uh, we get things done for the community because Mark works with us locally. We work with our legislators, the council members, all that were introduced today, as well as other council members. For example, let me say, the issues that Mark is dealing with at the congressional level, including the anti-immigrant feeling that's out there, we're having to address locally. And I want to say, in fact, because of a number of you who've been advocates, I am really proud that in Contra Costa we did two amazing things to support our immigrant families. One is we expanded preventative health care for people regardless of immigration status. Um, so that because we know when everybody is healthier, we are all healthier, right? And, and second, we approved um, a program we call a rapid response program for immigrant families at risk of deportation to help them and provide family support so we don't split families. And I know that Congressman DeSonye has been an amazing advocate for us on these Im on immigration issues, and he understands the issues we deal with locally. So you know he got his start, right, on the Concord City Council, and then served on the Contra Costa Board of Supervisors, served in the State Assembly, served in the State Senate. Um, he founded um, a caucus in the California legislature called EPIC, which is to end poverty uh, in California, and poverty that was broader than that. The old one was end poverty in California and inequality is, um, in, is what, poverty and inequality in California. I get to hold his seat, his former seat on the California Air Resources Board, which implements the state's groundbreaking climate change law. And the one thing I saw working al alongside Mark for 10 years was his integrity, his passion, caring about people, caring about justice, caring about equality, caring about equity and caring about opportunity and transparency. Um, I can vouch for that having served with him for 10 years. So Mark, um, welcome again to the greatest part of your congressional district, um, to, to Congressman Mark DeSonia. I asked Jennifer if, if she thought I was gonna get any time. Thank you all. I'm told, uh, I'm told I'm supposed to stand right by this blue line, so I'll be irritating and walk around. Um, well, thank you all for coming. This is so inspiring. Um, I'm not going to make a comment about the bet, what's my favorite part of the district, but I'm here, so um, since this is being live streamed, I do want to thank, first of all, Gabe um, for his introduction and John, uh, you, you know, we've got, it's a reflection of this community in West County. You've got some really great elected officials and um, at every level, and that's really important. So uh, John, I just, I have to tease because <coughs> John's one of my really good friends um, and he's doing such a great job 
not just on the board, but particularly on the Air Resources Board. It was one of my favorite things to do in, in public office. It's really a very unique institution. The, the U.S. Clean Air Act signed by Richard Nixon, actually the first effort was signed by Lyndon Johnson, but the comprehensive one was signed by Richard Nixon when there used to be uh, a partisan work on the environment. Hard to believe that that actually happened um, nowadays. But it carved out California. The ca California can go further than U.S. EPA and what the president sets as goals. And then it's just a wonderfully written piece of legislation. And then California is allowed to go further based on public health requirements. And it can be litigated if they go too far. Um, so it, it's one of those government institutions, because of its reputation, because of the statute, the best and the brightest want to work there all the time. And it builds this culture, really, of uh, marvelous um, public health. And they've done great things. It was a wonderful thing to be part of. And I'm so glad that John has a position that I used to have representing the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. So thank you, John, for everything you do. You're awesome. So we're going to we're going to go through a PowerPoint um, and uh, we do PowerPoints. We try not to be too boring. They're going to be large. This is going to be largely around the tax plan scam, as we call it. Uh, so having been almost in elected office now for 30 years, my predecessor likes to say I was a slow learner or I couldn't keep a job. Keep getting up. <laughs> Congressman Miller is so funny. Um, that and big shoes to fill. Uh,